Good evening, what's up YouTube? So today I would like to talk about something that's been on my mind and it's about lenses and how wide the aperture goes. Every once in a while I'm talking to someone and I'm talking about a lens and they're like, uh, oh it only does f4? And I'm like, yeah. My question that's been lingering is, is it really that big of a deal for your lens to be able to open up to 2.8 or whatever, 1.8, 1.4? Especially when we're talking about longer focal lengths. Even if we're not talking about longer focal lengths, Sony cameras are really good at low light. I have no problem leaving the ISO at 12,800, maybe even more depending on the situation. So that being said, this is just the most expensive lens I have. See that? I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Red G right there, the G Master. FE 2.8, 24 to 70, GM2, G Master 2. How much was this? It was like more than, this cost more than my cameras, I think. It's like 2000 something. Where I could have gotten the G, and not the G Master, the one with the, you know, not the red one, but the less prestigious uh like like the, the the what do you call it like the brown g which only opens up to f4 but at the time i was like oh man you know i have to own a g master lens to be taken seriously so i bought it but i kind of think do i did i really need it especially if i'm at like you know, 70 millimeters zoomed all the way. You got enough bokeh already that you know, going down to 2.8, is that really going to make your picture better? Because there's two things. Light wise, I think I have enough ISO to boost to get a decent picture or video. And the other one is bokeh which I think you've got plenty if you it's kind of like it feels like a lot of people give me the impression that more bokeh is better but is that really the truth because if you shoot on like an f1.8 or 1.2 lens and get the background totally blurry you can't even tell where the hell you where the hell the person that you're fil you're shooting is uh, might as well just film in front of a uh, studio sheet paper because uh, it's just a big blur in the background. So what I did was I've got my beloved new uh, <clears throat> two, uh, what was it? Uh, 70 to 200. It's not a G master. It's got the black G here and it's an F4. And I am very satisfied with it. So I thought, you know, what if I do a comparison? Take a few photos at the same focal length and see if there's any noticeable, well, of course it's gonna be noticeable, but any significant difference. Because I think it's more of an aesthetic choice. And that being said, aesthetic choice that is kind of less relevant in my opinion and I'm sorry I was a little lazy I didn't want to go about switching lenses all over the place so I I forgot which one was which I put one on the Alpha A7 IV one on the ZV-E1 both full frame cameras and yes I am aware that the megapixel count is totally different um, so I left both cameras in full automatic uh, and I just did a few, uh, tests to see what would happen. 
but uh, this is not a scientific test. I guess I say that every single time, but I think it gives an idea. I also got a few shots just um, showing some of the amazing things that this guy can do, being a macro lens also. There's one thing that was also kind of on my mind, and that is the term bokeh itself. I don't know how many people are aware, but bokeh is a Japanese word. Before it became so widespread in photography, bokeh has been around in the Japanese language for as far as long as I know. And the meaning of bokeh in Japanese is kind of a derogatory term uh, used to describe someone that's not paying attention or is just kind of kind of out of it you know if someone's just like not really paying attention it's like hey bokeh yo pay attention <laughs> um and it also though means you know things that are blurry or not quite or not in focus in a bad way and Throughout the years, I was I found it very ironic that bokeh has kind of morphed into the American language to a term that refers to that nice out of focus background. So I don't know. What did you think? I think if I had the choice between you know this G Master and the non G Master version. I would rather save a thousand dollars and go for f4 instead of a 2.8 <clears throat> if i really wanted the bokeh i'll get a prime lens that would open up further anyway so i guess a lot of people can prove me otherwise but if you're looking for bang for the buck I think it's a matter of diminishing returns, and I am totally satisfied with the G, not the G Master, that's like, and saving a thousand bucks. Yes, I understand the lens coating might be different, different number of aperture blades to give a different type of flare, or you know, all these things like the motor being quieter and all that. But even with all that taken in mind, I still think G Masters are kind of overrated. Might get a lot of hate for that comment. But I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. I think I'll definitely save the money and buy more gear that has tangible benefits to my style. And that is my conclusion when it comes to expensive lenses. Thanks for watching.